In HTML5, every page is a blank canvas. You can embed not just text, but music, video, animation, and things we've never even figured out yet, all in the original code. This is like giving an artist a blank canvas and a fresh set of palettes and saying, have at it. I have no idea what's going to come out of this. But I know that it will be led by publishers at both ends. You'll see the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal over it, and you'll see a zillion people on WordPress. If I were starting from scratch as an entrepreneur, this is where I would focus. I think the big deal is a philosophical change. When you're in a web page today, you have a series of buttons all over the page that take you off that page somewhere else. It's always about leaving the page you're on to go to another one. In that model, engagement, which is a measurement of how long you spend interacting with the content, is typically 15 to 17 seconds per page. I believe in HTML5, in fact, even before it, people are beginning to change to a model that looks more like television, where you have one fixed page and the content changes for you. The website manages according to your preferences to deliver what you want without moving off your page. The reason that matters is that in that model, engagement will be measured in minutes, which means that the advertising is radically more effective and valuable. And in HTML5, there's a set of things that you can do you could never do before. For example, everything on your page can be an app, which means that an advertisement, instead of just saying, hey, go to Amazon.com, click here, it could be an instance of the store. So if you're in the New York Times book review and you like the book that they've just recommended, there's literally no technical reason Amazon can't, can't have an ad there with a one-click button for you. Right, because you've already registered with New York Times, so they've double checked your identity through Facebook. They know who you are. They can give you one click for your ad. Or a stock brokerage firm could have a trading thing where you literally input your tr stocks and keep track of them on the Forbes page or the Wall Street Journal page for hours at a time. Now those are ads, but obviously they feel like apps with a lot of value to the consumer. And I think that's what the next big wave is, that HTML5 will allow, will allow the web to be competitive with television for advertising dollars. And in terms of flow of dollars, the numbers don't get any bigger than that. It's 420 somewhere, it might as well be.